Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at how a host routes. We'll be discussing host forwarding decision, default gateway, a host routes to the default gateway, and finally, we'll look at host routing tables. This episode is part of my series on introduction to networks for the Cisco Certified Networking Associate, also known as the CCNA. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. Now, when a host is routing traffic towards its destination, the packets are always created at the source. Wherever that data is starting, that's where those packets are created. And once again, that packet doesn't change all the way until it reaches its destination. Each host, host creates its own routing table. What's the best way to get to our destination? A host can send packets to three three types of devices. One is itself, which is typically called the loopback address. And for IP version four, that's 127.0.0.1. For IP version six, it's a colon colon one. Those are the loopback addresses. It's basically like talking to yourself. You can send it to local host, hosts that are on the same network. If we look here, PC one, this is a network here, this yellow circle. PC1 can send data to PC2. It's on the same network. Or they can send it to remote host. What a remote host is, is a destination that's on a different network. We have to go from PC1 here through this router. Once again, what does a router do? It routes between networks. So it connects one network to another. So we're, we're changing networks when we go through there to its destination. And so this is known as a remote host. If it's not on our network, it's a remote host. If it's on our network, it has the same network portion. It's a local host. Now, remember, those are two very different things. And as we start talking about routing protocols, you need to understand that. A local host is on my network. It's typically connected to a switch. And then that switch is connected directly to me. Now, if it's a remote host, I have to go through a router to get there. It's not on my local network. On your network, we have a, we have a sp special device. It's called the default gateway. That is the device that is the exit point off of your network onto another network. Typically, it's a router. It's a layer, it's a layer three device. It could be a layer two switch that has this built has routing built into it, but for this course, for this episode, it's a router, it's a layer three device. The features of the default gateway is it has to have an IP address that is the same, relatively the same as your IP address. So the beginning must match. It needs to be on your network. It's in the same range of your local area network. It can accept data from the local area network and is capable of forwarding traffic off of there. Meaning that router has an IP address that's on your network, but then there's another network connected to that 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 router can then forward traffic to. And it can route network, or sorry, it can route data to those networks. If no default gateway is available, or if it's misconfigured or, or you typed in the wrong address for your default gateway, no traffic will be able to leave your network. And what we can do is we can think of that default gateway as, as the exit off, off of your network. Or another way to visualize it is if you're in a room, to get out of that room, you have to go through that door. That door is your default gateway. That door is gonna lead you to a network of hallways and a network of other rooms. And so in order to get to those different networks, you have to go through that door. That's your first step. That is out of the room going there. And so looking here at this diagram, we have PC1 right here, right? PC1 can communicate to all devices on its local area network. So this yellow circle, Right here is the local area network. This is our local network. It can communicate with everybody as long as they're connected to the switch and have there. But as soon as we want to go to a remote network, the remote network could very well be someplace on the internet. It could be a website. It could be 
Netflix or a streaming service. It could be any one of a number of different things. In order to do that, we have to go from our PC through the switch that connects up all of our network devices to this connection right here on the router. This right here is our default gateway. This is our exit off of our network. So we have to send all the traffic to this location. Once it gets to the router, then the router, router can then route it to its final destination. And that's what the default gateway is. The connection off of your network onto somebody else's network. Each host keeps a table of all the networks it knows about, how to reach to those destinations. Here, this is an example from a Windows machine. As we look at this, we typed in the command netstat space dash r. What that does is it's going to give us all the routes we know about, all the IP version 4 routes we know about. And if we look here, underneath the network destination, what network are we trying to reach to? 127, these are our local addresses. But then these, the rest of these are all different networks, all different devices, someplace on our network, someplace on a different network. But this is how we get there. And notice we have the interface here. The interface is what port do I have to go out of? And if, if you had to take an educated guess, the interface the PC1 has to go out of, and if we take an educated guess, the PC1, we have to go out here, and if we go up here, that is the IP address of PC1. So we have to go out that interface on PC1 to go on to its next destination. And so this is the routing table that PC1 knows about. How do I get to all of these networks? This is how. Up here is a special one, this 0.0.0.0. If it's if the route, if the network is not listed down here, we're just going to send it to this address, and this address right here is this router. This router then gets whatever site we're trying to get to, sends it on, and hopefully, going out this port right here, it can get to its final destination. Whether it's on the internet, somebody else's network, your internet service provider, it can get to that final destination, and you can get the information you need. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on how host routes. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, and depending upon the platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All of my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com. There you can find out how to get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on introduction to networks for the CCNA. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I picked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on introduction to networks for the CCNA. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.